Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. I thought I'd do it a bit early given that Easter's coming up. Um, so this will be from the 5th to the 11th of April 2021 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your oracle card. So what do we have for Libra please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Libra. Thank you. I have energy balance here Libra. Message for Libra, please. Message for Libra for the week. Thank you. I've got reconsider. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Libras, you know, by now, then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. What do we have for Libra, please, for the week? What is the message a Libra needs to hear the most for the week, please? Message Libra needs to hear the most. Thank you. Thank you, there's the card. Seven of Pentacles in the challenge position. Okay, we have the lovers and the world. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Libra, please. Message for Libra. So I've got the Hermit Libra with the Lovers, wow. So the Lovers is appearing twice. Lovers is a card of Gemini. Hermit is a card of Virgo, might be relevant for you in terms of signs. We have the Seven of Cups clarifying the Lovers. And the King of Swords, male or female energy, it's a general reading. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. It's interesting because it feels like some of you are going to make some decision here and you're being asked to reconsider this week. Interesting. It, it feels this energy balance, Libra. I mean, you might want, I mean, you are, you are all about balance, internal balance, external balance. You like everything in balance. It is your, your energy. But there's definitely this, this feeling I have with this reading of just make sure you're in the right frame of mind to make some kind of decision. Because you're being asked to reconsider your options or reconsider some kind of decision. Remember the sword represents truth, clarity. Yeah, it's generally to do with the mind, how we perceive something. And it feels that you're being asked to take a fresh look at something. So this seven of pentacles, there's a relationship here that you have put a lot of time and effort into. It doesn't feel like it's just been a few days or a few weeks. There's been a considerable amount of time and effort put into a relationship. And it's almost kind of like your soul searching, trying to find answers from within <clears throat> to make a decision about this relationship going forward because you're not sure it's for you. I mean, sometimes there's an energy here of, I'm not sure I can see this working out in the long term. Is this for me in the long term? Maybe something's happened that's made you question the relationship. You know, because the Hermit can also be a card of healing. Um, and it, it feels in this situation, you've been challenged in terms of love, romance, relationships. And you're not sure if you can, if this is for you long term. And it, it feels that that's what you're trying to decide, trying to get your head around trying to find answers from within and how you want to move forward in your external environment. 
because the lovers and the seven of pentacles i mean sorry the seven of why did i say pent i've got seven of pentacles there seven of cups um this can be about choices uh keeping your options open looking at alternative routes you know it, it feels in this energy You're, but there's, it's also a card of not not being clear there's a level of confusion here so there's definitely an energy of and, and again the the cups energy is to do with our emotions and feelings so what I'm getting from spirit here is yes there is some kind of decision to make choice that the lovers was also always called the choice card originally and there's some choice to make in terms of love romance relationships but it doesn't feel that you're quite clear and spirit is kind of saying don't make a decision until you're absolutely clear about your emotions and feelings which is the cup's energy it's interesting because that's what i'm getting here it's it's almost like you're being told now's not the time to make a decision because there's there's a kind of feeling here the six of, of pentacles can be a card of an exchange information you know it can be you know an exchange with somebody giving and receiving and it, it feels in this energy it, it feels in this energy you're not receiving enough in the relationship to keep you in it it's interesting this can be a card of um not feeling that you have enough of whatever it is and it feels in this situation there's been it feels like there's been some lack or something let's clarify that six of pentacles it's almost like is there enough there to keep you in the relationship and you're feeling some lack that's what i'm getting let's clarify this six of pentacles please let's clarify this six of pentacles yeah we have the queen of wands um which is a card of I mean it can be a person here you might be dealing with I mean like I said I've got Aquarius I've got Virgo Gemini twice Queen of Wands is Aries for me as a reader and she's she's somebody who represents action confidence male or female energy but it feels in this situation you want to take action and it feels to do with not having enough i mean also this could be an energy of somebody reaching out to you but he feels in this situation here libra there's some clarity that you're getting in how you want to move forward because you're not sure there's enough in the relationship to keep you interested and you want to do something about it and that's what i'm definitely feeling i'm going to pull one more with this queen of wands and six of pentacles She's also a card of courage so again there's, there's this feeling of having the courage to make some kind of empowered decision take action do something about yeah making some choice or decision and taking inspired action towards that making some in inspired choice or decision i mean the knight of wands is all about inspired action and it's to do with making some decision here i mean the message is <laughs> it's an interesting one because the king of swords could be you you know male or female energy generally it's aquarius for me as a reader but you know in this energy this is full clarity of the mind so that's what the energies are saying to you there is some kind of maybe some clarity that you're getting and it could be to complete something step into a new phase of your life bring closure to a situation you know this is about stepping into a new phase a cycle is ending and it might well be down to some decision that you're thinking about making and this is a major completion i've made my mind up i have the courage and strength to take action that's right for me now 
because I'm just not sure that there's any, enough in this relationship for whatever reason to keep me here. I don't know if it's for me long term anymore. But there's a message here from spirit that you need to be really clear. It's interesting because whatever clarity that you're getting, it's almost kind of like it's almost kind of like you're being told you're not seeing everything clearly. And it could well be down to the energy that you're feeling. Um, again, the hermit can be about raising our internal vibration from within. Um, definitely in this kind of challenge position, it might well be that you're not in a, a point or not in a, a readiness to make this kind of decision right now. The message is to reconsider. Interesting. Interesting energy, Libra, but obviously that message is meant for somebody. The message is don't make the decision right now. Just wait until the dust settles, you know, things become clear. And there's a message in the future. You will have clarity in which way you want to go. You know, the world card can be completion. It can be completion of a trying time, stepping into a new phase of your life. It can be ending a relationship. This can be an ending. Um, but it feels in this situation that you'll have greater clarity if you just allow the dust to settle. Interesting. So let's pull you a final card. Oh, I see. I see. I've got hope. There's hope. And that's why you're being told not to act. To, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I see. Sorry. I'm just getting more information. So yeah, the, the Knight of Wands is inspired action, but it's also a card of impulsiveness because he hasn't quite mastered the suit, you know? And that's what you're being told, that you're not a queen yet because with these cards coming out, it's almost kind of like there's a, a feeling here of, of not quite being ready to take action because there's, this can be an impulsive decision. Be careful of making some kind of impulsive decision. Obviously, you might regret it because there's there's hope. And that's why you just need to just let the dust settle. Take your own time. Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. OK, Libra, that is your reading for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.